In this video, we'll see how to create a simple message box which will be displaying your information. Your information might be a text, it can be a number, it can be a date, anything. So let us see that. Now for that what I've done is I've created a blank Excel file that is Excel VBA boxes and the sheet name I've given as message box. It has nothing to do but in case if you're find, trying to find out the notes this will be in the Excel VBA boxes. Now if I want to create a message box I'll go back to the VBA editor, developer tab, visual basic and that's a blank Excel, you know VB editor there's nothing in that now first thing is I'll create a module here I'll go to this insert tab click on this module the name of the module by default will be as module 1 and I'll change this name as a underscore a underscore message box 1 why message box 1 because I'll show you multiple examples every different examples I might create different modules here now if I want to create a display a message box, I have to first create a sub procedure. I'll type here as sub procedure message box one. That's it. Now, very simple. You have to write as msgbox, msgbox. And whatever text you want to type, you have to just type in double quotes. Suppose you want to type as welcome. That's it. That's it. So message box welcome which is given here and when you execute you will get a message box. So I'll just close this so you get a better idea. I'll just close this one. Now message box welcome here. Though it is written as MSG BOX we call it as a message box itself. Now I'll just click on this run button and the text is displayed as welcome. And if you see by default the heading is given as Microsoft Excel. The body text is given as welcome and the button is which one? It's OK button. I'll click on OK. Now this was for the text you can keep on writing n number of lengthy text i'll say as welcome to tutorials point india that's it so you want you can keep on typing and click on red button and if you see welcome to tutorials point india that's it and i'll click on ok this was for the text what if you want to display some number how do you display it it's very simple you just type as message box and just type the number no need of double quotes itself no need of double quotes just keep on typing the number itself and I'll click on run so first message box is welcome to tutorials point India second message box is the number as given as 10,000 and I'll click on ok now I'll just press enter here and now I'll show you if you want to display some date how do you display it do you have to use double quotes or not I'll show you something I'll just type as message box and there's one thing if you keep typing message box put a space this will give you a help help tip which says what do you want to type you want to type prompt comma buttons and so on this I'll show you one by one step by step but right now message box msgbox and if you want to type a date type hash and you just type the date here let's say 10 10 12 2020 10 12 2020 20, that's it and make sure you put a hash if you want to display a date when you display a date the hash sign will be removed only the date will be displayed like when you put a text the double quotes are not displayed in the message box so I'll just click on this step into so I can show you step by step that's welcome to this point if you observe there is no double quotes only the text is given I'll click on ok execute again step into thousand and here if you see the hash sign will not be displayed in the date itself. I'll click on this hash, yeah, uh, step into. Now if you see 10, 12, 20, 20, there is no hash sign given, only the date is displayed here, right? I'll just click on OK and step into. So I hope you have understood how to display a simple message box with text, numbers and dates. In the upcoming videos, I'll show you much more detailed and much more advanced message box itself. I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.